Thank you for staying with us and welcome back to the program. The domestic bourse had gained 30 basis points at intraday with banking stocks as the major drivers of the upward trend. Is this short term or is the rally here to stay? Let's now join my colleague at the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Temple Ashaji, for an overview of the activities at the market. Hello, Temple. The market was up um, at about um, intraday by 0.30%. What's the latest news you're getting from the exchange now? So that growth has now reduced to some 0.14%, and the, the, the market at this point now looks a bit uh, fragile. It looks like um, things can change any moment from now. Uh, that's if this uh, becomes unsustainable for a lot of the investors that are taking position. We know lately that we've been seeing a lot of of FPIs in the system and I mean uh, at the same time we've been seeing some domestic investors trying to take uh, you know to sell down or basically to just uh, do some profits taking in the market so uh, earlier as you said it was 0.30 percent but now it's 0.14 percent it keeps changing uh, minutes after minutes but we know that we're still within the 30,000 psychological level and we've seen some volume of 206 million units valued at over 2 billion naira as I said earlier, it was the, it's still the banking names that are driving this performance in the market. You know that the prices were lower before now. And, of course, this gives room for a lot of investors to come take position. Uh, so uh, it gives, it's, it's, it's going to eventually be more of a mixed grill going forward. But more, within the, uh, uh, but more of the active activities will be centered around the uh, banking names because a whole lot of them uh, has, have currently given room to a lot of investors to take position. Axis Bank is up the highest uh, so far by some 5.31 percent. It's now trading around uh, 6 Naira and of course we've got GT Bank, that's Guarantee Trust Bank, also doing some positive uh, uh, movement there, up some 1.67 percent. We also saw Dangote Cement from the industrial goods segment of the market joining the bandwagon a while ago, up some 0.53 percent. And uh, of course, this tells you that uh, the industrial goods sector is currently looking uh, marginally positive uh, going forward. The banking sector is also looking very green. And uh, of course, even if anything changes in the market, in the all share index of the market, the banking sector in the system will possibly close uh, in the green zone. Because if you look again at the top trades chart, you find the likes of FBN Holdings, which has done some 27 million units of its shares. Uh, Zenith Bank has done some 26 million units. And UBA, 25 million units. And Fidelity Bank, some 15 million uh, so far today. That's what we've seen. And uh, if you look at Unity Bank, recently made it, um, a, a, a position known to the Nigerian Stock Exchange by way of a notice uh, informing the market of the commencement of its closed period, which started yesterday, 23rd of January 2019. And it also informed the exchange about the uh, uh, convergence of its uh, board members, the directors and non-executive directors, uh, scheduled for February the 8th of this, of this year, 2019, uh, where they will be considering the audited financial statement for the period ended 31st December uh, 2018. And of course, to be able to bring uh, invest the investing public and the members of the board up to speed on issues around this, uh, its uh, pro uh, uh, capital raising efforts, which is likely to happen um, in any moment from now. We know that Unity Bank a few years ago did the private, private placements, and that was between uh, 2014 and 2015 in the market. Uh, how that has performed in the market regarding the uh, performance of the company will also be made known to the uh, investors who will be at that meeting. And of course, the reason why they now have to do this kind of capital raising exercise at this point in time, what mode is it going to take? Is it going to be a right issue? It's going to be by way of a private, another private placement. Those are the things that will be considered at the meeting. So it tells you that the, bank, the banking stocks are still the major peaks in the market, as we speak, Imana. All right, Tem Temple, as I you there from the Nigerian Stock Exchange, monitoring events as they unfold by the hour. Now, um, consumer confidence in South Africa remained stable in the fourth quarter of 2018 after falling sharply in the third quarter, but stayed far above levels recorded in the final years of the nation's previous presidential regime. The Consumer Confidence Index, compiled by the Bureau for Economic Research, remained at plus seven in the fourth quarter, compared to the preceding quarter. According to the report, the sharp drop in fuel prices should bring long-awaited long budgetary reliefs to many household, households and simultaneously reduce the pressure on the South African Reserve Bank 
to implement further interest rate hikes. To also counter rising inflation, South Africa's consumer inflation slowed to 4.5% year-on-year as at December. Now, a Somali company has taken up recycling of plastic waste in the capital, Mogadishu, earning some money from making roofing tiles and other products while ridding the city of litter. Uh, let's watch this report. A team of workers, many of them refugees from Somalia's long conflict, collect plastic bags, bottles and wrappers for recycling in the capital, Mogadishu. They are part of workers recruited by Somali Envirogreen Company that processes plastic waste into roof tiles and other recycled goods. We carry the waste on our heads and backs. We get 3,000 Somali shillings for each kilo of plastic waste. Thank God. It is a nice job. We survive on this. We need cars to transport the trash because of our health. As a rubbish built up on the rubble of Mogadishu's wrecked street, Somali and Viral Green opened in June last year to help manage waste generated by the city's residents. Somalia is working to rebuild after two decades of conflict. Regular rubbish collection is way down the state's list of priorities, so entrepreneurs are moving in to fill the gap in social services. We have decided to recycle plastic because there is too much garbage, including plastics, paper bags that are left to litter the city. We will produce many products from this recycling plant. At the moment, we produce tiles, which are in demand among the local population because of the quality. The tiles we produce are much better than imported ones. Though part of the country is still plagued by militant violence, a degree of stability in the capital in recent years has begun to draw investment from locals and Somalis living abroad. And that's the show today. Thank you for watching. But just before we go, the appeal court sitting in Abuja has affirmed Donald Duke as the presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, the SDP. The court set aside the ruling of an FCT high court, which stopped Mr. Duke from parading himself as a candidate of the Social Democratic Party. The three-man panel led by Justice Abdul Aboki held that the application is illegal and unconstitutional and ought not to have been entertained by the lower court. Bye-bye. I'm Emana Amawe. Thank you.